Hello everybody, it's Kathy here with Colors with Kathy, and today's color is violet. Forgive me for not being on here for a while, I've had to take care of my broken foot, and that's a difficult thing for me to do because I'm a high energy, go get them, let's get done kind of person. And so just having to sit and reflect and um, concentrate on healing for long periods of time is difficult for me, I, I want to do things. But today's color is violet, so let's talk about that. Violet is the color of transformation. It takes something and turns it into something else. So it's a great color to have if you are feeling surrounded by negativity. If you do a color meditation on violet or just send beautiful waves of violet light to that negativity, you'll see it changing very shortly. So violet is magic. It's the color of magicians and royalty. So it's a very powerful color and it has a high vibration being at the end of the spectrum. So it has a high frequency for us. Now at the crown chakra, um, everybody seems to want to have a very high vibrating crown chakra in the psychic world so that they can connect. What people don't understand is you need to have all of your chakras all of your colors in balance to one another. Uh, there's lots of wonderful uh, tools out there to measure chakras, um, but what you want is balance. You don't want 95% activity in the crown chakra and 30 in the solar plexus. It doesn't work that way because you're pulling from one and do, you know, and then it starts pulling from the chakras beside it and and everything is out of whack and that's not how uh, chakra energy or color therapy work. We always want to have balance. The balance to violet is yellow. So these are both colors of the mind, colors of intuition. Um, so think of it that way. If you're too high in violet, you need yellow. If you don't have enough violet, you need violet. It's really simple on how it works to create balance. So out of um, Susie Chiazari's book, I just want to note that she says, violet normalizes hormonal activity. And that makes a lot of sense. It relieves problems in the head. So it's good for sinusitis, um, headaches of any kind, wherever they come from. And it's also really good um, for blood uh, purification. So it'll help you also with varicose veins and anywhere that is uh, vein wise in your body, anywhere that is feeling congested or inflamed. People with um, varicose veins, I usually suggest uh, buy some purple leggings or purple pajamas, whatever, and um, violet socks and you'll see a difference. Um, in addition to, you know, keeping your eggs, legs, legs, legs elevated, and um, I have nerve damage uh, from a back surgery, and uh, the damage was there before, but it was exacerbated by the surgery, which was a complicated thing. Anyway, um, I use violet light on my legs, and I also made up a massage oil for the legs that... Um, I put underneath a violet light so that it would be tonated, the color violet. And I also have it in a purple bottle. And so I use that on my legs and it helps a lot. And shining the color light on my legs helps. Mentally, violet is all about self-respect and tolerance. If you see somebody who doesn't have a lot of respect for themselves or their home, their car, or even other people, they're very low in violet vibration. Um, dignity and respect for oneself and others is a wonderful violet quality. And it's also um, the color of humanitarianism. It's the color of being in service to others. So you see violet showing up in places like churches and so on. And there, there are specific meanings for the colors and the vestments and the candles that are used in a lot of churches. Uh, usually it means transformation. We're moving from one season to another. 
um, spiritually, it promotes um, spiritual thought, spiritual connection. It purges and cleanses and clears out uh, what's been holding you back. And in a different way than, say, yellow or orange. And those are more physically purging. Violet purges the soul and gets rid of how you've those things that you don't like about yourself, it helps clear that. It also helps clear away prejudice that you have. And because it's one of those transforming colors, think of these words, transformation, transfiguration, transmutation, regeneration, and re-illumination. It brings back the light to who you really are. Violet is an incredible color and associated with essential oils. It's the essential oil of violet, which I have used. Very expensive. It's one of the precious oils. I think I paid $30 for two mils or one mil. Lavender, of course. Lavender is also one of those essential oils that can bring you up or bring you down, depending on what you need. So it is transforming. Juniper. Juniper is a wonderful violet ray essential oil. Also, um, hyssop, carrot seed, basil, patchouli. Those are oils that have a spiritual content to them, as well as helping you understand that you are a spiritual being in this beautiful physical body. And when we talk about our beautiful body, let's respect it. Let's honor it. And that means what you see, what you hear, and how you feel about your beautiful body. I'm wishing you all a wonderful long weekend here in Canada and wishing everybody a happy Sunday and a wonderful rest of the week elsewhere in the world. And, um, oh yeah, news. After four edits, my book is at the printer. It's being printed as we speak. So wait for that announcement sometime this week. I'll have my books ready to sell and to deliver to those that have already bought and paid for them. I thank you so much for that. Couldn't have happened without you. And um, check out Colors with Kathy. Check out my website, kathymhughes.weebly.com. And give me a shout here on YouTube. What color do you want to know about? I welcome your questions. And tomorrow or the next day, I will be talking about the beautiful color of magenta, the color of the soul star chakra and self-worth. And so for today, I wish you well and have a happy day. I'm going to.